Let's talk about function pointers. You're used to int my int here, and then I can do an int pointer my pointer gets the address of my int. And my int here will take up four bytes on the stack because my an int on my platform is four bytes. So I can definitely take the address of that uh, location on the stack and shove that address in a pointer. Okay. Well, functions work the same way. If you think about functions. When the when the program loads into memory, all those functions that you have in there, they they take up RAM. All the instructions inside of each function has to take up RAM. Well, the first instruction in a function um, is uh, if you want to execute a function, you have to go to that first instruction and then just start execution. So when you actually invoke a function, for example, if I say, let's go void foo here and pretend there's a whole bunch of code in there even though there is not. When I say foo, basically what I'm telling uh, or instructing the compiler to emit uh, some code to say, okay, jump to the foo, the address of the foo function, and begin execution. Right, and this address is determined uh, at runtime when the program image is loaded. It has an address in the program image, but when the program image is actually loaded into memory, that the uh, operating system determines exactly where in RAM that foo function will end up. Well, since this is an address, I can use that address just like I can use any other address that I store inside of a pointer. So let's do it. Void. This is the syntax is a little interesting here. I'm going to say void. Uh, parentheses star my function pointer okay uh, gets foo all right now let me just explain the syntax here a little bit first of all I'm forced to use parentheses here and the reason I'm forced to do that is because the the uh, star here I, I need to set the precedence for the star on my function pointer instead of saying a, a void star I want it to be void my function pointer. So this is how you, you have to use the parentheses there. And then the void says, okay, this pointer, oops, this function pointer, my function pointer, is going to point to a function that returns void and takes no arguments. And then I'm going to assign a value to my function pointer, and the value I'm going to assign is foo. All right? So syntactically, that might hurt your brain a little bit, especially if you're coming from C sharp. That's just oh, but but that's that's what this line says here. Is my function pointer can point to uh, functions, take no arguments, return void, and I'm also initializing it to point to foo. I could I could say main here, and I mean in this case main is returning nothing and takes no arguments as well. But but anyway, let's just let's roll with foo. And actually, let's make foo a little bit more interesting. Let's actually give it some code. C out. Foo. We'll just do a simple trace statement. All right. So let's build this, run this, and think ahead. What am I? What's the output going to be? Should be. It would be wise to pause the video. But here we go. We see. Press any key to continue. The output's foo. Well, of course, the output's foo because I invoked foo here. I didn't mean to do that. Let me run it again. Well, now the output should hopefully be obvious. There is no output. All I've defined on the stack here is a pointer to foo. I actually didn't do anything with this pointer. All right, so let's 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 actually do something. Let's um my function pointer paren paren. Now 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 look at that. This is actually a pointer. That's really a pointer. It looks like a function when I use it like this, but it really is a pointer. And the parentheses here just says, well, go to the whatever my function pointer is pointing at. Go and invoke it. Well, that's a lot like if I if I just said foo. It's kind of like foo itself is a pointer. It points to points to this code here. So when I put the parentheses after it like this, I'm saying, well, go to whatever foo is pointing at and invoke it. All right. So so I'm going to invoke it like that. Let's build it, run it. Now, can you think what the output's going to be? Again, we have foo there. All right. Let me show you that we do get the compiler help here. I'm going to say void. Goose, put an int argument there. I won't name it. We can just just uh, say it's going to exist, and then uh, let's let's assign this to Goo. Build it. We get a build error saying error initializing cannot convert from void C decal int to void. So basically, the signature doesn't match in this case. All right. Anyway, these function pointers they get really useful. We pass them around. Um, that's a way to do callbacks. If you're familiar with .NET delegates, that kind of thing. It's a 
It's uh, not as uh, powerful construct as .NET delegates, but still the same idea as we, we uh, pass functions around and then uh, other code that wants to call that function can just execute the code, just call it as is. Anyway, um, very useful, very handy. Mm -hmm.